So now on the phone with us is Mary Beth from San Diego. So what's going on, Mary Beth? Hi. Yes, I have a seven-year-old daughter. She has excessive hair on her upper lip, her back, her legs, and I wondered if there was anything I could do for her. Well, well Mary Beth, we actually have Dr. Kent Holtorf here. He's an endocrinologist. He specializes in hormone imbalance and hypothyroidism, which can often be a cause of this. So, Dr. Holtorf, thanks for being here. What? What should someone like Mary Beth do, and what are the possible causes? Well, what we often find in women and, and, and actually girls, as they get older, they start getting a little mustache. Now, I do worry that she has a more excessive than just a little mustache with hairy back, hairy legs, and I worry about things like uh, congenital adrenal uh, hyperplasia. So she really needs to be evaluated and make sure something like that's not going on. But for kind of more the run of the mill where women are getting a little mustache and as they get older, we're finding a lot of causes include low estrogen, uh, low thyroid that often isn't picked up on the standard blood test, and also studies are now showing bisphenol A, drinking out of plastic water bottles, is becoming a major problem, uh, increasing uh, free testosterone, which is causing more of the male hair pattern growth. So that's why we always say BPA-free plastic water bottles for everyone. But basically the especially suggestion here, especially young kids. Yeah, especially sure. young kids. But really, if you don't have them in the house, period, then no one's going to be exposed to it. But for older women, and just for women in general, we know that you know that lip hair can be very much of a problem. I have women coming in all the time. So women will dye it, or they'll use lasers, or they'll use uh, depilatories and things like that. But the um, estrogen cream is also another option Yeah, for so older we women. typically, we, we'll recommend a estriol cream, which if they have it, they can wax it first and then put the estrogen cream on and it will uh, keep it from coming back oftentimes. This, he's great, because this could be a very annoying thing for girls when they go through mm -hmm. puberty, because oh, yeah. they don't realize, yep, I might just get a little hair up above my lip too. So there's great options out there, but that's definitely for women who are you know, past uh, puberty. Mm -hmm. So that's a great solution for women. Mm -hmm. Dr. Holtorf, thank you so much. And Mary Beth, basically the takeaway here is, it probably is worthwhile to go ahead and get your daughter checked out, check her hormone levels to make sure there's not an imbalance, and then, of course, you can go to some of these other options if everything looks okay. Find somebody who does okay. good hair laser removal. Thank That's you. It. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Mary Beth.